Sunburn. Hope everyone had a good night's sleep. Uh, you got home safely or work or your destination of choice. Safe and sound in one piece. No house of us, trouble, problems, and misunderstandings yesterday. And especially no meet and greets. Okay, it's two girls in the morning. You ride down the street with no lights on. Y'all see it. It's, it's dark outside. Turn your lights on. having a room about the, the tearing down that building for like 11 years 10 11 years i said and they finally getting around to destroying that building i said no i said well i tell you what if you give me a brick i put on there the day that i started in that building and the day i left out that building before like when we had to move out the building into the new building and uh, i said i'll probably put that on there exxon still holding that 175 and Shell is at 189. So um, he said, "Oh yeah," he said, "I didn't even think about that." So apparently today he's supposed to go get a um, like get bricks for like himself and myself. So I told him that you know tell his wife and you know his family and stuff, hey, and, um, and that was about it. So that's why I didn't make a video yesterday because. I was running my mouth. And now we're on our way to work this morning. I have my doctor's appointment this afternoon when I get off. And that is with the gastrologist. Um, I don't think I'm properly saying the uh, medical term for his title correctly. But that's what I'm calling it, okay? Um, to have a consultation. Well, I don't understand what they're doing 40 to get on the freeway. You're going to have to get 60 to get in the lane. I'm just saying. I don't know what you're driving and where you're going. Okay. This man needs to get over in the lane I'm getting in, uh, that I'm in. So I'm going to switch over and get two lanes over so I can get on to work. So, uh, I got that this afternoon. And like yesterday, I was telling my other, one of my other co-workers, I was like, I need to find a place that's got like slamming fried green tomatoes. And, um, you know, of course, people mention this one place that's all the way out and um, kind of like a few cities over. Fried green tomatoes. 
because let me tell you, theirs was seasoned and breaded and crunchy, all that. Understand what I'm saying? It was so good. So if I go to any other restaurant and I taste their fried green tomatoes, and they don't bring me back the sentiments of uh, po folks, I'll be like, this ain't it. This ain't. I don't know what this is, but this ain't it. You know, I haven't come across another good fried green tomato since po folks, and that's. I kid you not. But I know there ain't no lights over here for y'all to be seeing me. But um, I told y'all I wasn't a ghost. I wasn't cast. So, um, this off my screen. Uh, oh, no, I got to get this stuff off the screen. Okay. But like I said, um, so there was another place that someone, that they mentioned, and I saw, like, before the different things from off of YouTube, Facebook, um, other cooking channels that has mentioned this place called Lucille's. I've never been. And I remember a few years ago, somebody was talking about Lucille's, and I, I hadn't been. And I was like, oh, so when it, I came across it yesterday, because I was looking for fried green tomatoes, and, um, and I actually went on Google to see, because I was like, man, I need to find a place that's got some slamming fried green tomatoes. So, um, I came across the name Lucille. And I said, I heard of this place before. I've never been. And I said, I've always said I want to go, right? Well, I'm going to try to go here today for lunch. Just so I can get me some fried green tomatoes. I pray I can make it over there and get it. And, uh, I'm come on back to work. I'm not trying to eat too much, you know, anything that's really heavy or anything um, today because I do have that appointment. But it's only a consultation, but still, you know, we have to get up on the scale in the doctor's office. Y'all think I'd be lying, but I'd be dead serious. I sit up there and tell the nurses and stuff when they ask you, well, can you stand up on the step? I said, can you just put your key monkey on the paperwork? I'm cool with that. And... <laughs> <laughs> and I, like I said, I said this. I told the story before, and that's only because my little cousin used to love love Ben and Jerry's uh, Chunky Monkey ice cream. And when I learned that that was his favorite uh, ice cream, I, when I was seeing him, I'm like, "Hey, my little Chunky Monkey," and um, and it just stuck with me. So that's where that comes from. And um, I've never eaten the ice cream. Chunky Monkey ice cream, so I don't know exactly what it tastes like, and I can't even tell you what's in it, okay? When it comes to Ben and Jerry, Cherry Garcia is my thing. That is no if ands, buts, about it. Cherry Garcia. Um, so, uh, when I got home yesterday, I was very much tired. Very, very, very much so tired, because I told you I only had like maybe 30 minutes of sleep. Cause I had been up the day before since like 10 30 that morning and then I wasn't able to go to sleep until like 30 minutes before my alarm was going off the other morning so I was like man I, I can't so uh, when I got home yesterday um, I sat up there did I watch oh I finished watching a movie that I've been watching previously uh, uh, Kiss the Bride that was the name of it with Darren Henson and Megan Gomez and uh, a few other people but um, I watched that and uh, what else was there and then I went to sleep because I wasn't trying to play no games that is no joke I was tired and I was sleeping woke up, it was like, I know it was after 11.30. Hold on, it's one of my co-workers texting. Okay, I don't know where I left off at or what was going on when I was trying to text, uh, check the text message. But no, uh, like I was saying, one of my co-workers texted me and asked me if I wanted Skyline this morning for 
breakfast. And I'm like, you know, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Uh, I'm trying to think what would I get from Skyline that's not heavy so I can eat the fried green tomatoes uh, for my lunch. Or, um, or I might just, you know, uh, I'm thinking like, um, last time I got a breakfast croissant, right? And that was pretty good. And, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Trying to think. So, um, like I said, when I woke up, it was about 11. I know it was after 11 30, but it wasn't quite 12 o'clock. I can't remember the exact time, but put that in that time frame, right? And, um, they were supposed to be working on the. There was apparently there was a water leak over the uh, uh, a main uh, pipe uh, that uh, had a leak in it, and so they were supposed to have been working on it uh, yesterday. They decided to do it at night. Uh, the city was doing it at night. Um, they were doing it um, from I think like from nine o'clock last night, and the water was supposed to be shut off.
everybody. It's, you know, some people let you detox on the regular, and I don't detox on the regular. You're walking around, and what they say, uh, up to 10 to 20 pounds of waste. You know, just sitting there in the colon. So, it's good that I'm going to go get my, my um, consultation so I can get my, you know, I want to get my colon and stuff checked. I want to stay up on my health as much as possible. And um, take it from there. What can I say, y'all? The only thing I can say is when it comes down to your checkups, when it comes to your health, and when it comes to certain age points, go on and do that. You know, breast cancer don't want just in women, okay? Get that part straight. Breast cancer is just not for women. So, hold on. I say that to say this. Keep up on your health, baby. Keep up on your health. We made it to this garage. Oh, they go park. Got five minutes to get in the building. And uh, go from there. So I appreciate y'all communing with me this morning. Being part of the drive with me. I pray that you get home, work, or your destination of choice. Safe and sound in one piece. With no house of fuss, trouble, problems, and misunderstandings. No meet and greet. I pray that you know <laughs> that you have a good day, a great day, a blessed day, a wonderful day, an awesome day. You understand what I'm saying? Just try to have you a good day. I understand people will try your nerves, baby, and try your patience. I understand all that. But just try to be respectful to each other as much as you can, okay? Alright, I'll talk to y'all this afternoon.